Courtney Base Cox is an American actress and filmmaker. She gained international recognition for her starring role as Monica Geller on the NBC sitcom Friends, which aired from 1994 to 2004. For her performance in the series, she received seven Screen Actors Guild Award nominations, of which she won one. She received further recognition for starring as Gail Weathers in the horror film franchise Scream. She also starred as Lauren Miller in the NBC sitcom Family Ties, Lucy Spiller in the FX drama series Dirt, and as Jules Cobb in the ABC-TBS sitcom Cougar Town, the latter most of which earned her nominations at the Golden Globe Awards and the Critics' Choice Awards. Cox's other films include the action fantasy Masters of the Universe, the comedy Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, the animated comedy Barnyard, the fantasy comedy Bedtime Stories, and the independent drama Mothers and Daughters. She owns the production company Coquette Productions, which was created by Cox and her then-husband David Arquette. She also worked as a director on her sitcom Cougar Town, the television drama film Tall Hot Blonde, and the black comedy drama film Just Before I Go. Early Life Cox was born on June 1, 1946 in Dundee, Scotland as the youngest of five children. He is from a working-class Roman Catholic family of Irish and Scottish descent. His mother, Mary Ann Gill Erline, was a spinner who worked in the jute mills and suffered several nervous breakdowns during Cox's childhood. His father, Charles McArdle Campbell Cox, was a police officer and later a shopkeeper, and died when Cox was eight years old. Cox was brought up by his three elder sisters, including Betty, with whom Cox has remained close. In Dundee, Cox attended St. Mary's Forbank Primary School and St. Michael's Junior Secondary School, which he left at the age of 15. After working at Dundee Repertory Theatre for a few years, he began his training at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art at age 17, graduating in 1965. Acting Career Theatre 1961-1979, Early Work 1980s, Royal National Theatre 1990s, I King Lear slash I and I Saint Nicholas slash I None 2020-19, Continued Roles Film and Television 1965-1989, Early Work 1990-1999, Career Breakthrough 2000-2005, Franchise Films 2006-2010, Continued Success 2011-2017, Action Films 2018-Present, I Succession Slash I None Upcoming Projects Audio and Voice Work Film and Television Radio his radio work include roles in multiple BBC slash BBC Radio 4 productions such as the title character in the series McLevy, based on the real-life detective James McLevy, Alec Lima's in The Spy Who Came In From The Cold, John Bernard Books in the dramatization of The Shootist, and a talking head in the impressions show Dead Ringers, series 18. He also narrated in the epic full-cast drama The Stewarts and in Alexander. The Story of a Legendary Leader Books Cox narrated the abridged audiobook version of John Aubrey's Brief Lives, Joseph Conrad's novellas Youth and Heart of Darkness, and Sir Walter Scott's Ivanhoe. He read the unabridged audiobook version of Bram Stoker's Dracula, Ruth Rendell's To Fear a Painted Devil, William McIlvany's The Dark Remains book series, and his own autobiography Putting the Rabbit in the Hat. He also voiced in Murder Most Foul, a collection of classic crime short fiction, and in its sequel Murder Most Foul both in 2003. He has collaborated with HarperCollins on an audiobook of Tolkien's epic poem The Legend of Sigurd and Gudrun, and on the abridged audiobook version of Gerald Seymour's 2011 works including The Fighting Man, The Heart of Danger, The Journeyman Taylor, 
The Glory Boys, Red Fox, Killing Ground, Condition Black, and Field of Blood. In 2012, he read Penguin Classics audiobook version of H. G. Wells' The Time Machine, and in 2014, The Human Table by Marvin Cohen in Word Theater's Pushcart Prize, Best of the Small Presses. He narrated the Gospel of John, the first ever word for word film adaptation of all four Gospels, and in religious audiobooks for the New Testament, such as RSVCE's Truth and Life Dramatized Audio Bible and the Word of God Audio Bible. Animation Cox also worked in animation, providing the voice of Macbeth in Shakespeare, the animated tales, Earl Garver in Superman, the animated series, Pariah Dark in Danny Phantom, General Hammer in Battle for Terra, Spanners in Agent Crush, The Green Dragon in the direct-to-video film Scooby-Doo, and The Samurai Sword. Action 12 reporter in Wes Anderson's Fantastic Mr. Fox and Conrad and Crunch in the UK and US version of Bob the Builder, Mega Machines. Cox narrated the first episode of the first series of animated tales of the world. In 2018, he voiced Mr. Wittershins, a gentleman whose life is pampered by automated machines, in Wittershins. He voices the English version of Neander Wallace Sr. in the Japanese-American animated series Blade Runner, Black Lotus based on the Blade Runner franchise. Video Games Cox has also been involved in the video game industry. He voice-acted the ruthless Emperor Scalar Visery in Killzone, and its two sequels, Killzone 2 and Killzone 3. He was also the voice of Lionel Starkweather the main antagonist in Manhunt, a video game for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2 and Xbox. In Electronic Arts reboot of Syndicate, Cox played Jack Denham, the ruthless power behind the boardroom throne of the malicious corporation Eurocorp. The game was released on PlayStation 3, PC and Xbox 360. Adverts he provided the voiceover for Virgin TV's cross-platform advertising campaign promoting its new streamlined service, Virgin TV Anywhere, in January 2017. Cox has also voiced commercial adverts for McDonald's since 2020. In April 2021, he provided voiceovers for three 30-second ads for the launch of property industry Eyes Boomin the new Property Portal's national ad campaign which will run almost daily for the next three years. Filmmaking and Soundtrack Cox made his directorial debut in the Grey Matter episode of the hit HBO prison drama series Ounce. His first foray into executive production was in The Escapist. He also served as executive producer in the series From Now and is set to executive produce Mending the Line. Cox also performed soundtracks in a few of his projects. In the series Sharp in the episode Sharp's Rifles, he sang Here's a Do to All Judges and Juries. In L.I.E., he performed Danny Boy and Harrigan's song. He also sang The Butcher Boy in The Escapist. Charity Work Cox is a patron of the Scottish Youth Theatre, Scotland's national theatre for and by young people. Scottish Youth Theatre's building in Glasgow, the Old Sheriff Court, named their theatre the Brian Cox Studio Theatre in his honour. He is also a patron of The Space, a training facility for actors and dancers in his native Dundee, and an ambassador for the Screen Academy Scotland, a collaboration between Napier University and the Edinburgh College of Art. Cox is also patron of the Old Rep Theatre in Birmingham, one of the first repertory theatres to be built in the UK. In October 2017, he was made an honorary patron for Capital Theatre's campaign to modernise the historic King's Theatre Edinburgh and preserve it for future generations. In January 2020, he was removed from patronage of the Midland Day Care Centre, a centre for the elderly in Dundee after serving for four years due to his confession of his use and endorsement of recreational cannabis. In April 2020, he became patron of the British American Drama Academy with whom he has had a decades-long association, 
including directing several collaborations with the Moscow Art Theatre and holding regular master classes for participants on Bada's programs. In April 2010, Cox, along with Ian McKellen and Eleanor Braun, appeared in a series of TV advertisements to support Age UK, the charity formed from the merger of Age Concern and Help the Aged. All three actors gave their time free of charge. In 2012, Cox became the Grand Marshal of the New York City Tartan Day Parade and reprised the role in 2020, the first time a previous Grand Marshal was asked to return since the parade moved to Manhattan 6th Avenue. In June 2005, he was awarded the first Scotland's Tartan Day International Ambassador Award at a ceremony in the Scottish Parliament for his work in promoting Scotland abroad. Bibliography He has authored three books, Salem to Moscow, An Actor's Odyssey, The Lear Diaries, and his autobiography Putting the Rabbit in the Hat. Salem to Moscow, An Actor's Odyssey spans 30 years in British theatre, beginning in the 1980s, when Cox, despite success on both sides of the Atlantic, was looking for a new sense of purpose for his life and work which culminates having first directed The Crucible at the Moscow Art Theatre School. In the Lear Diaries, Cox accounts how a group of leading actors approach a major text, providing insight into the pressures that contemporary theatre actors face. He describes the emotional and physical difficulties that came with playing King Lear while also working as a member of an ensemble playing roles in Richard III. His diary also reveals the personal strains of touring, particularly the difficulties of being separated from his family during the company's year-long tour. Cox credits a remark from fellow actor Oliver Cotton during the production as resulting in the title of his autobiography Putting the Rabbit in the Hat published in 2021. Cox, Brian. Salem to Moscow, An Actor's Odyssey. Methuen Drama. ISBN 978-0-413-66450-1. Cox, Brian. The Lear Diaries, The Story of the Royal National Theatre's Productions of Shakespeare's Richard III and King Lear. Methuen Drama. ISBN 978-0-413-69880-3, ISBN 0-413-64970-9. Cox, Brian. Putting the Rabbit in the Hat. Quercus Publishing. ISBN 978-1-529-41649-6. Personal Life. Marriages and Family Cox is divorced from his first wife, Caroline Burt. They have two children, Margaret and Alan, the latter is also an actor, best known for his roles in young Sherlock Holmes, and as the young John Mortimer in the television film of his play A Voyage Round My Father opposite Laurence Olivier. Cox married his second wife, actress Nicole Ansari, in 2002. They have two sons, Orson Jonathan Cox and Torin Cameron Cox, and live in New York City. Cox also maintains a home in Primrose Hill, London. Politics In 2007, Cox campaigned for Labour in the run-up to that year's Scottish parliamentary elections. However, he endorsed the Scottish National Party in the 2011 election because of their higher education policy. Cox told Alastair Campbell that he was an active and committed Labour supporter all his life, until you won't like this, the Iraq War. On May 25, 2012, he spoke in support of Scottish independence at the Yes Scotland campaign. However Cox did not qualify for a vote in the 2014 Scottish independence referendum as his status as a tax exile. Living in the United States greatly limits the number of days he can spend in the United Kingdom. On January 29, 2015, he announced he had quit the Labour Party, believing it had failed to live up to its basic principles, and joined the Scottish National Party, whom he felt was taking forward values of social justice and representing Scotland's best interests.
In January 2020, despite stating he is unlikely to ever return to live in Scotland, he called for a second referendum on Scottish independence, saying Labour had failed in Scotland and that Scots were organically moving towards a decision to leave the UK following the Brexit referendum. Cox confirmed in an interview to The Guardian that he supported the recreational use of cannabis, it's absolutely great and I recommend it to everyone get stoned. Honours in Office on December 31, 2002, Cox was appointed a commander of the Order of the British Empire in the New Year Honours List. In 1994, he was made an honorary Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa by the University of Dundee. In 2006, he was conferred an honorary Doctorate of Drama by the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland. In July 2007, he was made an Honorary Doctor of Letters by Queen Margaret University in Edinburgh, and was made an Honorary Doctor of Drama by Napier University in Edinburgh in July 2008. In November 2011, he was named an Honorary Doctor of Letters by Kingston University in South West London for his tireless contributions to drama education. In February 2010, Cox was elected as the 12th rector of the University of Dundee by its students, was formally installed in October, and was re-elected in January 2013. In December 2018 he was appointed head of the International Jury at the Golden Unicorn Awards. Filmography Awards and Honours Theatre